Hello and welcome to Monday Night Mayhem on Chelsea Community Radio 104.4 FM. And today, some games, we have got a special guest. Yes, we have a special guest in the studio. And would you like to please announce who you are? Hello, I'm me, a.k.a. Stuart Twan. Uh, and I also present on Chelsea Community Radio. I'm here today to participate in some games, I understand. Yes, this is Ooh. the Summer Games, yes, and it is. you have chosen your specialised subject, mm. but before we get into that, let's have a little bit of... Know you... About you... There we go. Yeah. A little bit of the sound of music. Oh, I like the sound of music. It's Julie Andrews, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Um, yep. So, you want to know some stuff about me? Yes, we do. Um, so I'm 21, born in 2003, the year that Finding Nemo came out. Oh, wow. And View Cinemas was founded. Don't know if anything else happened that year, <laughs> apart from me being born. But um, surely other things happened. Yeah. Um, I did uh, my GCSEs. I was last year to do my GCSEs uh, before COVID happened, so I did them in 2019. Did my A-levels during COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was an interesting experience. <laughs> but that was quite okay. fun. I'm obsessed with film and TV. I love film, love TV, so I keep an eye on what's filming, what's coming up, things like that. Sonic, yeah. We've got Sonic 3 coming in December. Ooh. Looking forward to that. Ooh. That's um, going to be interesting film. <laughs> Gavin and Stacey's filming at the moment for December. Yes. Everything like that. But yeah, love film and TV. Mm. Go to the cinema a lot, I have an Odeon Pass. So yeah, I do do that a lot. And I've yep. been to a few premieres before as well, which has been exciting. Ooh. Went to the premiere of the Meg 2 last year. Oh. None of the actors were there because they were on strike. <laughs> <laughs> but oh well, I still enjoyed it. Yes. And met the director, so that was that was fun. That was so, good. Yeah. Um, oh. Anything else you want to know? Don't know. What do you think, Tobias? Look, I think that's a lovely little taste, and I'm sure we're going to get to know a little bit more of Stuart yes. as we go on. Oh. Now, we haven't revealed your specialised subject. No, we haven't yet. But we do know already that you're into your film, you're into your TV. Yes, he is. So please reveal your specialised subject. One of my favourite film franchises of all time. It started uh, in the early 2000s. It was is Madagascar. Ooh, By, yeah. Ooh Madagascar. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so Madagascar. So any listeners at home, if you are a... Madagascar enthusiast. Oh, no. Is there a word? Yeah, is there a word for Madagascar? Make one up. Uh, a Madagascan. <laughs> oh, nice. That sounds good. Yeah, I like that. I yeah, like so that. do I. Because you are a... Doctor Whovian. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I don't know if you're a Doctor Whovian, are you? No, is Whovian that... is the real term for it. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> I had a bit in the fun. <laughs> okay. You'll see, you'll, look, Stuart, you'll find out that Luke <laughs> has the ego... And you'll be surprised that it actually fits in the studio at times. It will be, <laughs> yeah. it will be a moment where you'll see, you'll see the... <laughs> My ego come out. <laughs> yeah, because we have been doing quizzes. We've been doing mm. the Summer Games for a couple of weeks now. Yeah, we have. And whilst we've been doing the Summer Games, there has been moments where you can read Luke's face <laughs> to see where he feels, you know, mm. the position of where he's going to yeah. be in the Summer Games at the end of this. Because yeah. if you are the competitor who steps up to the plate... And yeah. really, <laughs> you see it now. I think yeah. you can see it right now <laughs> in the studio. <laughs> Luke is getting tense. I can feel it. I'm not even looking, and I can feel <laughs> yeah. the tense. You feel the tension. <laughs> but Stuart, look. Let's get into it. Let's get into our first question, Luke. Okay. The leader quartet were originally to be a lion, a zebra, a hippo, and a what? Ooh. I don't know this one, so can I have multiple choice? Please? Oh, he's going for multiple oh, choice. Oh, multiple choice straight away. Yeah. Okay, yeah. a grizzly, uh, grizzly Ellie. A gazelle. B a okay pie. C a pronghorn. Or D a northern giraffe. I'm just. Gonna, I have no idea on this one, so I'm going <laughs> to guess a pronghorn. So. Ooh, okay. 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 Next question. Now, what day is field trip day? You're giving me all the hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> I studied it, but I don't know if I studied it this much. Oh. Um, are we talking a specific date or a day of the week? 
Um, so uh, I don't know if you've seen the film Madagascar, but in yeah. the film, uh, obviously they're at a zoo and they have days of the week where yeah. obviously events happen in yeah. the zoo. And so it's just a day of the week where they're very excited about because it is field trip day. Well, what is it? So I'm going to go with logic here. Yeah. And because it's field trip day, that must mean that it's a school trip. So that means it has to be a Monday to a Friday. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to guess... A Friday. Ooh, okay. Okay. Next question. And he went for the bonus points there. Did you see he that? He did, yes. And question number three. Their logo is prominently visible in the Times Square scene. But who is the official computer provider of DreamWorks? Ooh. Are you talking about currently? <laughs> Are we talking about originally? Oh. Uh, originally, as the film aired, yeah, then. in the time, as it was then, as a little Easter egg, egg in, the, in the film, in the New York Times Square scene. I feel like it's worth going for multiple choice because I think I can work it out from the multiple Ooh. choice. So I'm going to go with that. Okay. Right? Okay, here we go. Okay, A, Dell, B, HP, C, Apple, or D, Nova. I can't even say what D is. <laughs> Lenovo. There you go. D is that. What is it? I've got a bit of a inf bit of information for you here. Ooh. So I feel like I'm going to go for HP just because when Madagascar 3 came out, there were HP printouts available through my printer that I was, <laughs> that I was able to get. So I'm going to go with that for that. It might not be right, but I'm going to guess HP because okay. I was able to get the HP printouts in association with DreamWorks oh. when it came out. Okay. That could be that could be the key to your success here, look. Who knows? Okay, now when Alex daydreams and makes a snow angel in stakes, which other DreamWorks film, and that's DreamWorks pictures, as well as DreamWorks animation, is it a reference to? Uh, do you need are you gonna go for the bonus? Are you gonna bonus points? Are you gonna or, throw it all out there or yeah, multiple, multiple choice. choice? Okay. Is it A the Prince of Egypt, B, Shrek, C, A Beautiful Mind, or D, American Beauty? Oh, which one is it? I'm going to have to go with Shrek when he's in the mud. Oh. He makes, makes the angel. Oh. Because I remember on the menu of Shrek, that's what it comes up with. Ooh, okay. okay, question number five. The look of the jungle, jungles in Madagascar is based on a painting of which artist? Do you want bonus points or do I'm gonna have a think about this for a minute. Have a so think. Because the painting is actually in uh, London. Okay. So the the famous painting that the film is based on is in London. Yeah. In a gallery in London. Is it the National Art Gallery that's in? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. I've been there. <laughs> 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 um, I'm gonna go with multiple choice again. Okay. I want to be hey. Henry Wuzo, B. Vincent Van Gogh, C. Henry Mosey, or D. Emily Bernard. It's A or C. Um, I'm gonna have a think. What What was A and what was C? A is Henry Wuzo, and C, yeah. Yeah. And C is Henry Mosey. I think it says. It's gonna be one of them, I think. <laughs> but um, I remember in school we studied this painter. Uh huh. And it was one of them. Okay. I remember his name was Henry. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's all you got in my head is Henry. <laughs> I'm going to go with A. Ooh, okay. Okay, nice. Okay. Now, which Madagascar movie, and I think you're going to... Uh, I know yeah. the questions have been hard so far, yeah. but you've said about cinema already, so I think you might get this straight off the bat. I've Which bonus points. <laughs> Madagascar movie was the first to be released in IMAX? I think, right, so the first DreamWorks movie to be released in IMAX was Kung Fu Panda. I know that. Kung Fu Panda came out around 2007, 2008. Now, Madagascar 2 came out in 2008, so I'm going to guess it's Madagascar 2, uh, Escape to Africa. Oh, look at that. Great great to hear the thinking. Yeah, the thinking. I can see the yeah. toggles moving in his brain yeah. as well. Oh, it's so <laughs> interesting. Okay. Okay, here is question number seven. Madagascar 2 reveals Marty owns owned a what? What does he own in Madagascar 2? Marty. Maddie. 
Which electronic device do we have? Yeah. Oh, oh, he had, he had an iPod. <laughs> oh! Because there was a the scene bonus. where they were crashing down in the plane. They all thought they were going to die. But uh, what happened was they were they were screaming at each other and they were like, uh, it was like, I used a toothbrush, I did this. Uh, Melman uh, exclaimed to Guru that he loves her and she's asleep. And then um, uh, Alex broke Marty's iPod. <laughs> oh! Now, what was the highest grossing movie in the Madagascar oh. franchise? Out of the ones that you've selected. Yeah. Right, so there are four movies in the franchise. There's one to three, and there's the Penguins. Um, it's going to be two or three. And I'm going to go with three. Oh, you went bonus points again? Okay. Question number nine. How many times was the island of Madagascar mentioned in Madagascar 3? I'm going to go with multiple choice for this. Okay. A, zero. B, once, C, three, or D, twice. And this was in the third film. The third yes. film. And how many times was the island of Madagascar yeah, mentioned? Yeah, island of Madagascar. I think it might be throwing me off. I'm going to go with zero. <gasps> you think we have thrown you off? <laughs> He's going bonus points. No, no, no. <laughs> Hey, hey, that wasn't bonus. He asked for the... Oh, multiple choice. I've got myself. Come on, get on it. Ego plane. Okay, now, last question for your specialised subject. How many penguins in Madagascar 3 cheat at cards? Now, this is a visual cue. Right. So, there is one penguin... Penguin? said that one wrong for some reason. <laughs> there is one penguin operating the chimp suit, which is the King of Versailles suit. So, there's one penguin underneath, which is Skipper. So, Skipper's underneath operating and helping the chimp. Mm -hmm. So, it has to be at least three. Um, I'm going to go with three. Okay. And that's bonus, Luke. That's bonus points. And general knowledge as well, and to his knowledge about it. Yeah. Now, Stuart, you've done extremely well mm. in your specialised subject, but now we get to general knowledge. And I didn't even say that right, did I? No. No. Okay. General you knowledge. Genial knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> genial knowledge. We go into the gene history of... <laughs> no, we don't do that at all. We go to a genie. I'm very sorry, Stuart. Very sorry. It's very late at night. Sure. Yeah. You're sorry. <laughs> oh. Now this is running away, and we've got some difficult words to read out in the yeah. question. <laughs> so now I'm very scared. Okay. okay. Just breathe, Tobias. Okay, here we go. No, Stuart, you breathe. You're the one on the hot seat. You're yes. the one on trial right now. I'm your father. <laughs> okay. okay, here we go. Question number one. Yes. What is the name of the largest country in the world by area? Ooh. I'm going to go with Russia. Ooh, straight okay, in there. Okay, straight in there. Can you name the famous Italian Italian composer who wrote operas such as La Bohème and Tosca? Um, oh. The answer was can you? If I said no, would that be the right answer? <laughs> that also would be accepted. <laughs> would that be the right answer? <laughs> Um, I'm going to have a guess at this one. Here we go. And just say it was... Uh, do you know any Italian composers? Yeah, do you know I'm any? I'm going to go with Gilbert and Sullivan, I don't know. Okay, very <laughs> Italian. Like okay. okay. Yeah. Question number three. What is the name of the famous French fa uh, fashion designer who founded the Chanel... Chanel. Chanel brand? Saw a film about this. Uh, Actually, I don't know if it was about this person. Oh. But there was a film mm -hmm. last year called Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, and she went to get a dress, and it was from a place which I um. Oh. Can I name the brand, or is it the person you want? Ah, uh, the brand the could be the name. Okay. Yeah, you can say that if you want. Oh, it's, I can't get it in my head what she went to get and it was uh, Leslie Manville in this film going to get this dress and um, a nice little black number I think it was green oh great but, yeah oh green yeah. okay but um, what was it um, it was in France because she went yeah. to France to get the dress and they yeah. founded the Chanel brand they did so um, is it Coco Chanel 
Oh, okay. Could be. It could be. Who knows? Fun fact: the uh, Coco Pops monkey is also called Coco. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Going for the bonus points. Yes. There. Now, what is the name of the famous American singer who was known as the King of Rock and Roll? Oh, this is too easy. This is Elvis. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh. <laughs> also referencing Lilo and Stitch, which are getting a remake oh. of next year, aren't we? Okay. There we go. Live what action. is the name of the famous Japanese animation company that created the films such as Spirit Away and The Neighbor... Uh, the Neighbor... Totoro. Totoro. Studio Ghibli. Okay. Spelled G-H-I-B-L-I, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> God, look at this. The, the brain on this one. The brain here. Now, brain. what is the name of the largest desert in North America, located in the southwestern United States. I don't know on this one, but I'm going to go with Sahara. Okay. Uh, in North America. Yeah, North America. Is that in North America? <laughs> mm. Not saying anything. <laughs> okay. What is the name of the... No, we've done that one. Which famous <laughs> poet, American poet, <laughs> wrote... Wrote the work such as The Raven and Annabelle Lee. You've got know. this. I you've, don't know. you've got this. Come on. Is Who's... it a man or a woman? It's a man. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, uh... Quote The Raven Nevermore. Simpsons. Do you know that? Are you a Simpsons fan? I'm a Simpsons fan, but I don't know that reference. The Free House of Horror? Yeah. I. I... I've known the normal episodes better than True South Horror. Oh, <laughs> True South Horror is a bit, a bit messy. But, um, okay. I, um, what was his name? There was a man who existed. Free. And it's got three names in the name. Yeah. Oh, names. um. Just to help you out. Just to give you. Yeah, we a like hint. It. Yeah. We like um, it. I've, um. We can come back to it. Yeah. yeah. Let's come back to that one at the end if we can. Yeah. Now, what is the name of the famous British actress who starred in such films as Breakfast at Tiffany's and Roman Holiday? I know famous British actresses, but I don't know those films. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 so dun. I'm going to guess a famous British actress. Okay. And go with Angela Lansbury. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. What is the largest waterfall system in the world located in South Af uh, America? Yeah. I believe it's the one that Carl Fredrickson went to in Up, which is Paradise Falls. Ooh. Okay. He finally did get his house there, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is the name of the largest lake in the world by volume located in Russia. I don't know any lakes in Russia. <laughs> um, a lot of clues there. A lot of clues. I've heard of a kraken, oh. but, which is a Russian <laughs> monster. Yeah. But um, I will just go uh, Lake Vodka, aren't I? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Do you want to go back to that question you stopped at? Yes. Okay. Which a famous poet wrote the wor works as, such as The Raven and Annabelle Lee? I don't know why the creator of the internet came into my mind, which is Tim Berners-Lee, but it's not him. <laughs> um, uh, what other clues? Uh, goth? Gothic? Yeah. Yeah. Very dark. I am going to... I'm gonna just gonna say I'm gonna pass on that one. Oh, okay. okay, we've got a pass. I, I genuinely do not know. We yeah. have a pass. Okay. Now that is the general knowledge, Luke, and we will look at seeing whether we can find the answers and seeing where Stuart lands on the leaderboard. We have seen quite the run from you. Your Madagascar knowledge mm. was absolutely incredible to see uh the tidbits the little bits of uh extra knowledge that you dropped uh very good general knowledge now we come to now we're going to score you out of uh what was it again that for general knowledge 
What is 10 questions, Luke? Yeah, 10 questions. Let's scroll out 10 questions. Let's go down there. Okay, question number one was, what's the name of the largest country in the world by area? And you said Russia, which was... Correct. Can you name the famous Italian composer who wrote operas such as Lee Capone and Cosca? Now, you threw this one away, Stuart. Uh, you, you didn't even go for an Italian name. No. Something like Puccini. Right. Well, you said Gilbert and Sullivan. <laughs> yeah. and, and it was... Cantino. Giga Maya. Go Puccini. 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 Yes. Uh, Puccino. Because Puccino is Al Puccino. Yeah. So I, 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 oh, all right. If I would have thought about it, I would still would have got yeah. it wrong. But I would have been closer. Yes. Mm. We probably would have given you those uh, points as yeah. well. But now let's go on to our next question. What is the name of the famous French fashion designer who founded Chanel? Brand. And you said... I took a lot of working out, but I took, <laughs> said Coco Chanel. And that ah. is correct. Correct. And you absolutely, you disregarded this question. You yeah. said that this was below you, I believe. No, I that. didn't say that. I didn't no, say that. I said the question was, oh, that was, what is the name Sorry. of the famous American <laughs> singer who is also known as the King of Rock and Roll? I said Elvis. Oh, yeah, that is correct. Really good. <laughs> what the hell was that? I tried to do Elvis. Stuart, please rate that out of 10 in the Elvis impression. 6.5. Oh, he is generous. He is generous. He is here. too generous. <laughs> yes. Okay, question number five. What is the name of the famous Japanese, uh, Japanese, Japanese. Anima <laughs> Japanese <laughs> animation company that created a film such as Spirit Away and Nune, My Neighbor you don't, have to look, you don't have to read it out in Japanese. You can just read it. We've got two versions here. So you said... Studio Ghibli. And that is correct! Uh, did you go and see Spirit Away in the theatre? Yeah. I didn't know. I saw... I don't know. I don't think it was Studio Ghibli, but I saw The Boy and the Heron. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Ghibli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ms. Yeah, Yonk uh, yeah. came back and done that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Question good. number six. What is the name of the largest desert in North America, located in southwestern United States? Uh, you went to Africa for this one, yeah. interestingly. Yeah. I didn't go to Africa to answer the question. <laughs> I mean, I answered it here. <laughs> yeah, I said, um, what did I say? You said Sahara. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it was Deveza uh, De Desert. Uh, and that would translate it for English is the Mojave Desert. Yeah. I have heard of it briefly, but I wouldn't have thought okay. of it. Okay. Question number seven. What is the famous American poet that wrote the work such as The Raven and Annabelle Lee? Now, we did try and throw you quite a few bones here. Yeah. We do like you. First yeah. time on the show. Mm. We tried to be kind, but yeah. you did go for the pass. Yeah. And it I, was... It was the one I just couldn't get. Okay. And the answer was Edgar, Edgar Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. Oh. Edgar Allan Poe. There you go. I thought he was an author. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. must have, is he a poet as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, oh. I think they were like short stories. And, mm. yeah. I was trying to think of... Um, what? The, Mark Twain? No, the guy that did the war poems. Oh, war poems. Oh. I started it in school, but anyway. Nah, yeah. Edgar What Allan is Poe? the name of the famous British... Actress who starred in films such as Breakfast at Tiffany's and Woman Holiday. Now, I was surprised by this. You're a yeah. cinema man. You're a modern cinema man. Yep. Yeah. And this was, of course, Audrey Hepburn. I know the films, but I don't know the films by actor okay. for like older films. What? Uh, and there was in that... You, uh, I was going to... Can I... Yeah, you can give can it. Can I just drop yeah, a little so bit you, of my general you drop, knowledge? You can drop a... In Breakfast at Tiffany's, <laughs> Truman Capote. Do you know Truman yeah. Capote? He yeah. played in that. He was an actor. You can that. actually... And he done a very... You can drop a... I'm going to drop a racist bomb. Uh, <laughs> a very racist <laughs> performance by Truman Capote in uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is the name of the largest waterfall system in the world located in South Africa? Now, you went Paradise no, Falls. Yeah. Now, what we've got on the paper, so we might have to go to the producers. Yeah, and ask them. Uh, Luke, your translation, please. <laughs> Lalligan Falls. 
A Gauzu Falls. Yeah. Is that Paradise Falls? I believe that is Yeah, Paradise I think Falls. so. We need to ask producers. I believe that's the... Uh, I have a name for it. I have a name for it. Uh, so we're, we're going to give you that one. Sure. Yeah, we're going to give you that. And like, what's the name of the largest lake in the world by volume located in Washa? Now, you, ironically, uh, very political <laughs> in this current atmosphere, you went for Lake Vodka. Yeah. And it was Lake Balkiai. Thank you for the accent on that one, Luke. I do appreciate that. I know <laughs> okay. it's out of fashion, but thank yeah. you for that. Yes, Lake Bakyao. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of Lake Bakyao? Have you? No. no. No, I don't know if we're saying that right. I know either, do I? <laughs> and do you want to say anything about the current... No, okay, I'll see I, in I, I don't like no, no, no. Let's keep it light. <laughs> Let's Here keep it light on my head. So, I think we should just be Putin that behind us. Hey! <laughs> Where? Where's Putin? He's got the puns. He's got the puns. Now, here we go. For your, we know for Madagascar, you got 310 points. Yeah. But how many did you get for your general knowledge? Now, with the general knowledge, added all up the total is 510 points oh. on the leaderboard oh where does that place now well just to give you well, some perspective luke got 295 and he's yeah. our current champion okay. i'm the current champion of one night mayhem <laughs> okay <laughs> so be very confident as you yeah. say around now the studio because you're ahead of me <laughs> that could place you in the final we yes. still have rich lyman of ccr to have his go but once rich does have his go and his specialized subject is wellness wellness which is that's very broad broad subject that's why i made mine specific yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. i think rich might run into some issues with it might get into a lake of wellness like where he doesn't know what to say. I don't want to say. Not quite. Now you was inspired by the pun of Stuart. Not quite. Right, a good pun. Not quite on the level. But I see where you. <laughs> you play the explosion sound because that, that that pun bombed a bit. Oh! <laughs> what you mean? You mean you mean it exploded <laughs> in a bad way. Yeah. <laughs> in a bad way. <laughs> in a horrific casualties everywhere. Yeah. Um, Even the producers were shocked. Now Stuart, this is your first time mm. on Monday Night Mayhem. We do a number of these quizzes. We do like to have fun on the show, and you've been a great guest here tonight. Yeah. Would you be open? It's just around the corner. Halloween games. Now, would you be up for? Yeah, we'd be up for that. And joining us for some fun. Of course, yes. Okay. Now that's just around the corner, but we still have to get summer games out of the way. But we we don't know. Stuart might be our reigning defending champion in the final against me, Luke Woolley, and I might not be a champion for some for the Halloween games. Who knows? But before you go, is there anything you'd like to plug? Um, so I still do my show on um, Tea and Toast, 6 to 8 on uh, Saturday and Sunday. enjoy doing that. Join me then for fun and uh, not as ma much madness as Monday might they have, but still a, a bit of madness. Nice. Still there. <laughs> we like to hear it. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, yeah. Stuart. We wish you well. And if we don't see you for the final, we'll see you in a mask at Halloween. Yes. Oh, no, you don't have to wear a mask. You can. Yeah. Well, I might be in a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Not in COVID anymore. <laughs> you, can, you can dress how you please. But anyway. All right, that's been good stuff. And let's get Rich Lyman ready.